Hey out there, it's Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with another Sonic Boom vlog. Uh, fortunately, my cable's on-demand service had it up that night, so it didn't take me too long to catch up on the episode. And also, I called the company and they fixed the issue with the with that screensaver thing, so this shouldn't be happening again. Okay, so t this week's episode was called Bro Down Showdown. Um, it begins in Amy's house. Uh, um, that. The turtle. It starts with Amy receiving an um, a letter from those uh, from from the tortoise mailman guy whose name I don't really remember right now, but you know I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> he says that she has been um, she she's been nominated for the most selfless award, and uh, she's like gimme, and um, uh, well let's see. There's supposed to be a lot of hilarious irony here in that she nominated herself. She she says that sometimes in life you have to look out for number one if you want to get ahead. And uh, yeah, the irony that she's being extremely greedy and self-serving and trying to get this award for selflessness. I like to say that it's just a momentary indulgence for Amy because, you know, she's a superhero and she's always... She's always doing these uh, public works, so I'm going to let her greed and selfishness in this one instance slide and say she probably does deserve the award for her behavior over time. But, oh my way, when she grabs the letter, she knocks a turtle on his back and he stays that way for the entire episode, which I love. Ha 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 die, torches, die. Um... So, with her, going, with her being away for a day or so, uh, Sonic and Knuckles ask if they can house sit for her. Um, Knuckles wants to watch Cable, because apparently Amy has Cable, and Sonic says that he gets bored sitting in his tropical paradise beach house watching the same beautiful sunsets every day. <laughs> hey, he has one up on the regular universe Sonic, who I'm pretty sure is still homeless, but whatever. Um... So, uh, so Amy takes some convincing because last time they, they stayed at the house, a family of skunks moved into her closet or something. Uh, so they promised that that wouldn't happen this time. And she says that she'll let them stay because she's feeling so selfless. But if they mess up her house again, they will feel her wrath. I would fear Amy's wrath. Amy has some good wrath. In any universe, Amy's wrath is something that you do not want to incur. So, as soon as Amy leaves, um, the two of them decide that they want to do something stupid and irresponsible. So they, they go bounce around the house with some stupid uh, uh, house surfing thing, which knocks over a, 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 a vase and almost, almost um, breaks a snow globe. But it, when all is said and done, they manage to do all this crazy stuff and nothing was damaged. So they celebrate their stupidity by having some nachos! And they drop a they drop a cheese covered nacho on the couch and get a cheese stain in. Sonic tries to tries to scrub the cheese out. It's a, with melted cheese, you have to scrape it off. If you try to scrub it, you're only gonna push it into the fabric. So they turn a blob of cheese on the surface of the couch into a big cheese stain. Knuckles suggests club soda. When Sonic can't find any, he pours on grape soda. Grape! The staining is the food dies. So now they gotta not only do they have a... So now the, the couch is purple and cheesy and it's wet. So they want to take it out to the... They want to take it outside so it can dry and then they can worry about, you know, getting the stain out. But the couch is too big to fit through the door. So when they, they try to push it through, they accidentally rip the fabric on the back. Now, I was expecting the couch to end up a smoldering ruin or in pieces. But somehow, this is where the stupidity ends. They push the couch back inside, and the couch is still more or less intact as one piece. It's still ruined because it has a stain and the fabric is torn, but, you know, the fact that it didn't catch on fire, I'm a little bit disappointed. So, um, they're trying to figure out what they're going to do to avoid Amy's wrath. Um, when a comedy chimp comes on the TV and talks about uh, the new game show, The Bro Down Showdown. And, um, where you can bring in your best bro to do, like, um, to do, like, the newlywed game kind of deal and, and, um, and win a new couch. 
now at first Knuckles is like Knuckles is staring at the screen completely oblivious to how this is supposed to help. Like, I don't get how this is supposed to help. Win a brand new couch. I don't see it. Stupid TV. <laughs> like, like I don't know, I guess I guess they gotta get the Knuckles as a retard potion in somehow. After all, he did have a pretty smart idea suggesting club soda. Uh so they decided to go on to the to the bro down show to see if they can um, you know win. Um, so Eggman, who who has spy drones that watch Sonic all the time, the things these things must have seen. <clears throat> um, he he decides that he'll enter the the bro down show with with Orbot and totally win. Um, wait, no, he didn't say he'll win. He says that this will be his new plan to destroy uh, Sonic. And yeah, there's a fourth wall jab. Should I say that I came up with an idea to destroy Sonic, or is it just obvious? Uh, so they're at the, they're at they're at the competition. They're at they're at the casting call for the show. And um, the guy who is Justin Bieber's uh, manager, he goes to him like, too old, too ugly, blah 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 blah. And when he sees Sonic and Knuckles, he passes on and says, I just don't get a bro vibe from you. And Eggman's like, ha ha. And Sonic's like, oh yeah, like, like he's gonna go with you and your little wimp bot. And so he and Eggman start arguing, and the guy says, hey, you two got chemistry. You, you're on. So he, 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 he tells uh, Knuckle, Sonic, and Eggman to be bros. Like, we're not bros, we're our enemies. Sonic, this is continuity. Do you not remember the Buddy Buddy Temple? You two are total bros now. In fact, Dr. Eggman even brought up the bro code in last week's episode, Tails' Crush. You, got, you may be enemies, but you're totally bros. I, I totally buy this. <laughs> After all, who knows you better than your arch enemy? So Knuckles, he, another fourth wall breaking moment, Knuckles is like, I thought this was going to be a Sonic and Knuckles episode. Eggman says that they're all disappointed, but they just got to do this. So they're on the, they're on the show, and, Egg, and Knuckles is like, hey, Sonic, look. I got onto the bro show too, with um, with that steer guy from the from the just the guy episode. More continuity, cause he he is legitimately Knuckles' friend. Hola, continuity. Um. So uh, he thinks that he's gonna make Sonic jealous, but Sonic only replies, "Great idea! Now we have two chances to win the couch." He's like, no, oh, I don't want to be mad. <laughs> Um, alright, so, uh, so the other contestants are, um, the two bears from the circus episode, and, uh, Dave the intern with Mama Walrus. Um, and so I was like, really, Dave? Like, we don't like to put labels on our relationship. <laughs> hey, at least the show's not gender-biased. You'd think that since it's the bro-down show that it'd all be guys, but no, no. So yeah, I, I appreciate the gender equality. Alright, so um, so for the next couple minutes the show is basically a game show um, where we're surprised at how at how much Sonic and Eggman know about each other. Um, it's revealed that the two circus bears are just bears. Like like I I know like actual animals exist in the Sonic Boom universe, but the fact that the the fact that the two circus bears were just bears and not anthropomorphic bear people, that's really surprising. And I guess it does answer a question about the, um, about that circus episode, like, why these two bear guys didn't, um, you know, why, why the evil ringmaster couldn't just rely on them and the robots, because, like, they're not people, they're just bears. Who knew? Um, of course, when the bears start to growl and attack each other because they're bears, um, it's revealed that if the bros fight on stage, you get disqualified. Because bros don't fight. That will be important for later. So, um... So, uh, Dave, Dave the Intern and Mama Walrus actually know about each other quite well. Like, um, what is Dave the Intern's job? I said he worked in the fast food industry. I said that I was an evil villain bent on global destruction. And it turns out that that's an acceptable answer. Wow, I mean... The, the the writers that his show must really have a thing against McDonald's or something. <laughs> um, um, and it turns out that um, oh, and uh, it turns out that um, uh, they asked they asked Eggman what Sonic's favorite movie was. Uh, 
Hey, Knuckles is a. <laughs> it's crocked. It's crocked Um, uh, that I think that they're they're doing a jab at those sci-fi original movies or or um or asylum films things because like I remember there was a sci a sci-fi movie called Crocktopus or something or Shark no Sharktopus. Yeah, Crocktopotamus, Sharktopus. Yeah, that, that that's a reference. I'll 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 give you two reference points. Um. One for acknowledging, the other for um, coming up with an original idea instead of just repeating it. But Knuckle, uh, Eggman remembers that one time while he was getting pummeled by a robot arm, uh, he said that um, that Sonic mentioned something about Space Pigeons. So he's going to go with Space Pigeons 2 since that was the best movie in the trilogy. To which Sonic said, yes, that was his favorite movie. <laughs> um, I would have liked that to be a reference to Chow in Space, you know, because in the Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, and I think the Sonic Generations games, you see movie posters for Chow in Space. I like to think that that's another reference, so I'm going to give you another reference point for the In Space reference. Um, so, I guess, uh... There, there is some humor in the answers. Oh, and by the way, the steer guy, he does, he, he, he's getting all the answers wrong. He, he and Knuckles, uh, they may be friends, but they're not bros. Like, uh, apparently the steer guy is colorblind, which is kind of accurate, because in the actual real world, um, steers, ca you know, cattle, actually are colorblind. They can't tell the difference between green and red. Um, it's like, what color is Knuckles? Oh, that's easy, I'm red. I said green. Sorry, I'm colorblind. <laughs> um, all right, so um, so 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 since uh, since Knuckles' team has the lowest score, they get eliminated. So it's between Dave the Intern's team and Sonic's team. Um, so giant. So one of Eggman's giant robots attacks the city at this point. Um, uh, Sonic is gonna go fight the robot, but then uh, it turns out that it turns out that uh, if if the giant robot if Sonic fights a giant robot, it would count as fighting Eggman, which means he'd be fighting his bro, which means his qualification, which means no couch. And this was part of Eggman's plan all along. Somehow he knew that he and Orbot wouldn't be picked, but that he and Sonic would be forced together into a team, so that he would, um, so that so that he would be powerless to fight against the machine as the as uh, he fulfills his promise of attacking and destroying the town, which um was one of the questions, and yes, the people cheered upon the answer. Because these people, I don't know, there's some kind of mass delusion where they don't understand consequences of terrible things that might happen to them. Huh. So, the mission. So Knuckles says that he's got this, and, and like, he's gonna fight the robot himself, and that it can, and that it can fill the Sonic-shaped hole in his heart. So he fights the robot himself, and he's doing an okay job, but Sonic is still nervous. Like, Sonic, what does Knuckle, what does Eggman have in his pocket right now? Um, I, I don't know, a hippopotamus on a skateboard? And Eggman reaches into his pocket and pulls out a hippopotamus on a skateboard. It's a pullback toy. Is, is, is that going to be in the Tomy's boom line? Are we going to see pullback skateboard with the characters? I mean, I know there's a hippopotamus character in Sonic Boom. Are they gonna do that? Huh? I I want them to make more toys. Um. So yeah, I mean that's just a sight gag, but well, whatever it works. Um. But the thing is, Knuckles by himself apparently can't take out the robot. So um. So so the robot is about to shoot Knuckles in the head with a laser, and Sonic sounds like. He said. Is that is that an actual poly poly um poly? Uh, he he asked what kind of uh, padding the couch had and like, ah screw it. So he he goes out. He saves Knuckles and the two of them work together to defeat the robot. You know he could have just pulled Knuckles out from underneath and then gone back onto the stage. Technically he wouldn't have been fighting the robot and wouldn't have been disqualified. But whatever he he takes the disqualification because Knuckles is his bro, <clears throat> and um and they say and they um. And so, Dave, so with the disqualification, um, Dave and Mama Walrus win the couch, they run over to it, sit down, and immediately spill nacho cheese on it. Because callback! So, um... I know, yeah, Do Dr. Ringman says, So, what's it gonna be, Sonic? Are you going to... 
are you going to get the couch for your girlfriend or are you going to save your red friend? And like, she's not my girlfriend! It is so cute the way that Sonic and Amy are so much shyer about their relationship. Well, actually, I believe that Sonic would say that in any continuity, but the fact that Amy isn't stalking him about it, that's, that's adorable. Um... Okay, so, we have... We have Sonic and Knuckles are still confronting the problem. They don't have... They, they don't have the couch for Amy. So, um... So they're doomed! So they run back to Amy's house just as she's coming home with her trophy from the most selfless award. And just as... And this is just as the tortoise male guy manages to right himself. Um, so they, they run up to Amy and like, Amy, no! And that's when the missile that the robot fired earlier that Knuckles managed to deflect comes flying in through her front door and it blows her couch up beyond recognition. So the fact that it was stained and torn was com is completely, completely hidden. And oh yes, the explosion knocks the tortoise guy on his back again. Ha ha! Take that! And apparently he owns a cat. I I weep for the poor cat, but such as but such as a casualty for the destruction of true evil. Um <clears throat> So Sonic was like, oh no! Dr. Eggman blew your couch up! And it's not totally that we stained it. That's terrible. We're sorry, Amy. Congratulations on the trophy. Bye! And the two of them leave scot-free. And Amy's like, oh. And that's where the episode ends. I seem to recall an episode of the Looney Tunes show, which was very similar to this, where um, where where Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck both went on a, on a best friend show. <clears throat> uh, of course, in that case, it was that Bugs Bunny knew everything about Daffy, but Daffy didn't know anything about Bugs. So, yeah, I mean. This is, like I said, this is the Newlywood game. This is the old um, friends are participating in the game show together. This is a common, this is another common trope. Of course, um, there are several new spins on it. There's the whole, the two friends that thought that they were going to get on it, um, don't get on it. And one of them tries to be bitter. But then the twist is that Sonic says that it's a great idea, and Knuckles can't feel bitter about it, even though he wanted to. Um, there, oh. And I guess I should mention that Tails and Styx don't have a single appearance in this episode. Which is kind of weird because they really could have been useful when the giant robot was attacking. I like to think that Tails was out on a date with Zoe. And that Styx was stalking them in the shadows to make sure that Zoe wasn't an evil pod person who was trying to assimilate Tails. That is what happens in my head canon. <clears throat> Although I guess in the future, if we get an episode focused on Tails and Sticks where Sonic and Knuckles don't appear, I guess we could say that that's going on during this one. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's no rule that says that all the characters have to appear all the time. Um, and, and actually, uh, Tails' absence is good for the narrative because it has Knuckles facing the giant robot all on his own. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like this episode, it had... Um, it had some really good sight gags, um, uh, some fourth wall humor, um, and uh, and the good old the good old standard of the the friends on the game show cliche. So um, um, all all pretty much all the jokes they wanted landed as well as they as they wanted them to. And I love the revelation that the two circus bears were just a pair of bears. I mean, it's so funny thinking about the fact that that they could have just been a pair of bears and not bear people it's just completely gone over our heads so um overall this is a great episode i like how i like how this show has been pretty consistently good i think there's only been one episode that i sort of didn't like and um and that's a really good run considering that we're 41 episodes deep now uh, i really hope that this keeps going Alright, so I will see you next week, and hopefully we won't have screensaver issues.